But we are starting to see some uh, roadways start to pond. We want to go out now to Daytona Beach, North Street and Tanglewood. This is not far from US-1. And you can see our photographer out there, Matt Milano, bringing us these images. And uh, this is a situation, Matt, where you can see there's water, but you just don't know how deep it is out there. Yeah, yeah, Kirsten, that's right. Um, it, it, the water, you know, you can see it goes for quite a distance. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty close to Tanglewood Street on north. Um, and if you look in the distance, uh, that's Beach Street uh, that where the where the street ends Oh, You can see a car coming through right now. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it doesn't I guess it's not too it's not too deep right now because he's making it through. OK, uh, I wouldn't recommend a smaller car going through because you can see the one next to it looks sort of, uh, you know, the water's kind of high up on that one. But here comes the truck. I'm going to back up a little bit so I don't get splashed by this truck. So just hang on one second. All right, and, Matt, we'll, okay, we'll let we you go. get out of the so, way there, but I think this is showing, <laughs> I mean, even though that truck is maybe going through, but a lower car mm -hmm. uh, could certainly stall out in water like this. And it's never a good idea because you don't know what's in the water as well uh, in flooding situations like this. As you zoom back in, uh, Matt, how deep did you think that was when the truck was, was pulling through, maybe about a foot? Yeah, that's it looks like it's only about a foot, foot and a half deep, so it, it's not as bad as it could be, but it's still not great for people trying to travel around these neighborhoods, obviously. And and there's there are houses on this street that uh, some of them, their their yards are quite flooded and the water's going up to their to their homes. So, uh, yeah, this area, you know, it's 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 seen it, it's gotten a lot of water and there's probably more to come. Matt, I know you've been making your way around that area for a bit now. What else have you seen? Maybe not on this exact stretch, but elsewhere in, in that surrounding community. Well, I was down uh, down where the, the, the main bridge is on uh, International Speedway Drive that goes over to uh, Daytona Beach Shores. And oh, wow, the wind's really picking up. Um, and uh, that that uh, the, the road right there that that road was was sort of flooded too on 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 one side of it but it wasn't too bad um i haven't seen a lot of flooding um just you know a lot of debris in the roads um you know some standing water here and there but this is the worst flooding i've seen uh down down in this area uh, i was in a, uh, the area midtown which i guess flooded during ian but uh, that area seemed pretty clear um, I, I don't exactly know why, but, uh, yeah, it, th that area did not uh, see as much flooding as it did when, uh, when Ian hit. And we always hear from law enforcement officers that six inches of water is enough to cause you to lose control of your vehicle. So that one foot can still be dangerous. So it's not worth it. Make sure you are smart and turn around. Do not drive through any of that water. Matt, thank you. We'll keep checking in with you.